The fact that hospitals were poisoning people and the environment in service of healing them was crazy. My name is Gary Cohen. I'm the president and co-founder of Healthcare Without Harm. We work with hospitals to improve their energy, to have them get rid of toxic chemicals, to change the way they serve food, to have them reduce their waste, uh, to be more sustainable. When we started Healthcare Without Harm in 1996, there were thousands of medical waste incinerators in the United States. And healthcare was the largest source of dioxin contamination. Dioxin is a, a chemical byproduct of burning chlorinated plastics like the kind that are found in IV bags and tubing. And it builds up in, in the food system and it builds up on our bodies. And it's linked to cancer and birth defects and brain damage and learning disabilities. When we started the organization, there were over 4,500 medical waste incinerators in the country. Ten years later, there were only 73 left in the country. So that was one uh, enormous change that happened. The other was, in 1996, mercury thermometers and blood pressure devices were the gold standard for measurement in healthcare. There were millions of thermometers breaking in American hospitals, winding up in the environment, building up ultimately into the fish we ate. And mercury is a, is a neurotoxin. It actually contributes to brain damage. And we've completely eliminated them from the healthcare sector. And it's now happening globally. The healthcare sector is the one sector of our economy that has healing as its mission. It's the one sector that tries to live up to the Hippocratic Oath to do no harm. So when my organization highlighted the pollution that the healthcare sector was contributing to, it was so against their mission that they felt compelled to try to address the problems that we were raising for them. And we also showed them that they could save money and they could improve the health of their communities and they can improve their operations by embedding environmental health and sustainability into their DNA, into their operations. The critical work that Healthcare Without Harm is doing now is to have healthcare institutions play a fundamental role in our ability to address climate change. And hospitals have three important roles. One is they need to be resilient in the face of extreme weather. They need to be the last building standing. Two, they need to lead by example. They need to become early adopters of renewable energy and show the rest of us how to make this important transition to a low carbon economy. And three, healthcare leaders need to be messengers about the, the fact that, that climate change is essentially a public health crisis. I think the MacArthur Fellowship will give me breathing room and my organization breathing room to think about some of the critical initiatives we need to, to work on going forward. We really want to work on how hospitals can be anchors for community wellness so that they're not just addressing chronic disease, but they're supporting community wellness. They're supporting the social conditions and environmental conditions that are making people sick in the first place.